Hello and welcome back to another QGIS tutorial. Here I will be deriving a watershed area in QGIS using DEM digital elevation model. Before we begin the tutorial, we should have a clear understanding of a watershed area. We have created a separate video with more information regarding the watershed. You can follow the provided link in the description. And friend, you can practice the video by downloading the DEM link in the description as well. So now let's get started. First, load the DEM from which we want to generate a watershed or catchment area. To add the DEM, go to layer, add layer, add raster layer, and then select the DEM, of DEM file you want to add. After adding the DEM, let's check the CRS of the DEM. For that, right click on the DEM, go to properties and source. In this type of analysis, we need a projected coordinate system. However, we can see that the DEM is already in projected coordinate system. We don't need to convert the added DEM to a projected one. But if the DEM is not in projected coordinate system, we should convert it to the projected one. For this, you can go to raster, projection and then select option wrap reproject. After that, fill the input layer with DEM. Here we can see the target CRS. We will be selecting the projected coordinate system which in my case is UTM zone 44 north. For this click here and the easiest way is to filter the keyword. Here if I type 44N I, I can see this option which comes in projected coordinate system. You can find your desired coordinate system manually also by scrolling over here. For now I will be getting my coordinate system by searching it here. So let me select WGS84 uh, UTM zone 44 north and then click OK. After that click run and you will get the reprojected DEM. Here in my case I already have the reprojected DEM so I don't need to click run. Okay. So is we have our data ready for the analysis. Let's proceed uh, to the further steps. Now uh, we will be needing a processing toolbox. For this go to view panel and then select the processing toolbox you may have the processing toolbox by default also um, further to that we will use saga to fill the sync in added dem to do so navigate to saga and select terrain analysis hydrology then select fill sync wang and liu here this window will appear select the recently added dem from which we want to create a stream map Save the field DEM to the location of your choice. To do so, go here and select save to file. Uh, and then navigate to the location where you want to save your field DEM. Enter a name and then click save. So after that, uncheck both flow direction and water basin because we don't want them right now. Now press run button. It could be a while depending on the size of the DEM. The larger spatial area may, ta may take a longer time. So friend, after this we can see the filled DEM. After filling the sink for a stream order, navigate to Saga and then to Terrain Analysis. Select Channel Networks and Drainage Basin. Select the file on the elevation that is fill DEM. In threshold, leave it to default or you can change the threshold uh, value as per the need. You need a only, if you need only major, major stream, increase the number of the threshold value. If you need minor stream also, decrease the threshold value. Here, I will leave it to default. Except for the channel and strala order, uncheck flow direction, uncheck flow connectivity, uncheck drainage basin, and uncheck junctions also we don't want any of this analysis but remember to check the channel and, and strala order okay after that save the channel data for this navigate here and select save to file after we have found your destination location give the file name and then save it like this and press run so after pressing run it may select uh, it may take some decent time depending upon the size of your uh, spatial area
so friend uh, after this process we can uh, see the streams in the form of channel and strala order as well so before proceeding to make the water shadow catchment we should have a clear concept about it for for the example let's concentrate in this stream alignment here from this point a stream channel passes all the water which passes through this point is accumulated in certain area that certain area can be called water shed or catchment so now let's make a water shed or catchment of this point first we need to get the coordinate of this point here for this zoom the area of interest and here we can see the coordinate of a certain small pixel uh, copy the coordinate and paste to the node the first one is x coordinate and the second one is y coordinate now go to saga terrain analysis hydrology and then select upslope upslope area here this window will appear give the coordinate value which copy we which we copied earlier give x coordinate value to target x coordinate Uh, and y coordinate value to y coordinate on the elevation select field dem on the method select deterministic 8 leave the rest to the default and hit run After this process, uh, we can see the water seed or catchment area for this channel outlet point. Here, the extracted special area is in raster format. We can convert this uh, to save file also. For this, go to raster, conversion, uh, polygonize raster to vector. Here, this window will appear. In input layer, select upslope area. After that, save save file by clicking here and select save to file. After we after you have found your destination location, uh, give the file name and save save it. And now we are ready to press run. Here we can see new save file data which include the delineated water shed area now get the water shed area only uh, for this uh, first make sure to check the toggle editing on on the recent save file after that open the attribute table and find out which one is not water shed area here are here are two two values okay here are two files in the attribute table here, this one is not watershed area, so let's delete it from here. After this, close the attribute table and then turn off the toggle editing. Here we can see the watershed area, our catchment with, referen if, with the reference to this channel outlet. You can use the data for several purposes. And you can uh, make watershed or catchment uh, depending, depending on your need of any um, catchment area or any water shed area that's all i hope you enjoyed the video you can learn more about water shed with the link provided in the description for any sort of problem you can comment in the comment box like and share the video subscribe the channel for the best qgs tutorial and lectures in special analysis have a good time happy learning